Hey guys, Davey here from OneBuff.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the difference that 2 gigabytes makes on your phone compared to 1 gigabyte. Um, on the right I have the Samsung Galaxy S3 which obviously has 2 gigs. On the left I have the HC Evo 4G LTE which has 1 gigabyte. The reason why I'm comparing these two phones is because they both have HD screens so the resolution is the same and also they're both running the same processor which is the Snapdragon S4. I fresh booted both of them and also they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna run a couple of apps over here as you, see, as you can see on the screen and I'll be jumping in and out of the task managers on each uh, phone so we could actually check up on the RAM status. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys that there's no recent apps running and uh, we'll go to the task manager really quick on both devices so we can see how much room is or how much RAM is being uh, used up. On the Galaxy S3, 522 megabytes is being used up. On the Evo 4 GLTE, only 466 megabytes of RAM is being used up. So a little bit different, but we'll go ahead and run the test anyway. You know, I can't really control how much uh, RAM is going to be used up when the uh, device first starts up. So anyway, let's go ahead and start running the applications. So I'll do dictionary, go back, and then we'll do Google Earth. And you can see the speed is about the same, and you know that's expected considering they're running the same processor. And we'll do the fourth app and hit home. Now let's go ahead and check in on our task manager again. So we'll go to task manager on here, task manager on here, and now it's using 575 megabytes, 506 megabytes. So using a little bit more RAM now on both devices. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go to maps. Let's go to messaging. Let's go to gallery. Let's go to Gmail. And again, let's check on the RAM. So task manager and task manager. We're using 543 megabytes, 635 megabytes. Now let's go back and let's go to Flickster. Let's go to Score Center. WordPress. And Chrome. Whoops. And let's check in on the task managers again. So task manager and task manager. 755 megabytes. See, we still have 1.62 gigabytes available or total. So we have, you know, about uh, 900 or 800 megabytes left. On here, we're using 556. As you can see, the bar is pretty close to full as there's only 124 megabytes free. So this next test should start to make a difference. Let's go ahead and load up YouTube. Calculator on each phone. Color note, and then the cameras. Okay, so hopefully that has a lot of apps running in the background. Hopefully this will make a difference. Let's go ahead and go to the task manager again. 805 megabytes being used. Um, now you can see there's 516 megabytes being used on the Evo. There's 164 megabytes left. So it kind of gives you the idea that it actually probably closed out one of these applications in the background. Um, let's see if we could actually tell which application uh, was closed out. Um, I don't see the camera running over here and uh, a couple of apps. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the test now. Again, running through all the apps and let's see if there's going to be a speed difference now considering that we expect there to be more apps open up on the Galaxy S3. So again, dictionary, Earth. So they both uh, kind of reloaded Earth but it was faster on the Galaxy S3, File Explorer, Gym Rat. So you can see this one opened it up again. This one had it open in the background. Let's go to Maps. It's already open. This one had to reload it. Let's go to Messaging. About the same there. Gallery. Gmail. So you can see now, I mean, it's noticeably faster on the Galaxy S3. I mean, it's a little bit faster to begin with, but um, it just seems that it's, it's a little bit faster even than that. So you can see right here, it didn't have to load Score Center at all, which uh, I believe uh, the Evo actually loaded up Score Center faster first time around. So 
that kind of gives you an idea as far as the RAM. Um, basically, what you're going to be getting is your uh, apps. Once you have a bunch open, it's really going to make a difference. But, you know, if you have just a couple of apps open, like I did in the beginning, didn't really make a difference. Both of them uh, were opening up at pretty much the same time. But now you can see um, the Galaxy S3 with that extra gigabyte of RAM is pretty much loaded every single application uh, faster than the Evo 4 GLT did. So the RAM definitely made a difference, um, especially, you know, when you have this many applications open in the background. I mean, all of these guys are pretty much open. You know, I could tap on, you know, Gem Rat and you can see it's still open. I could go back and go all the way to the top and we'll tap on Dictionary and it's still open. So it's not loading these guys up again where, you know, over here, let's go to the Task Manager. And you can see it's 158 megabytes free. Um, let's go ahead and try to go to, I mean, these are the, the apps that are open. You can see all of them aren't there. I mean, it's only what, Score Center, um, Google Maps, Calculators open, Color Notes, WordPress, Messages, and YouTube. But all the other ones are pretty much closed out. So, you know, if I were to go to Dictionary again, like I said, it's going to load up much faster on here. So anyway, um, that's the difference. You know, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, in the long run. I mean, um, you know, both phones are super fast. The 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor does a great job at opening up applications. Android Ice Cream Sandwiches optimization, especially when Jelly Bean comes around on both of these devices. Both are going to be super fast, but you know what? Uh, the two gigabytes is going to give you a faster experience, mainly due to the fact, especially when you have a lot of applications open, that those applications will be opened up in the background. And when you tap on them, it's going to be already open, so there's going to be nothing to load. Therefore, you're going to have a faster experience, not necessarily faster speed as far as processors go. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. Thank you.